Welcome to Air Pro Diagnostics and congratulations on your commitment to safe and proper repairs. All Air Pro tools come with our exclusive Evergreen warranty. When hardware or system updates are necessary, we replace the tool at no cost. Your Air Pro will never be obsolete. In this video, we will help you navigate your Air Pro's capabilities, what comes with it, and a few best practices. In order to charge your Air Pro tool, you will need the tablet charger. When connecting the tool to vehicles you service, you will need the OBD2 cable. The Ethernet cable will be needed to connect the tool to specific makes and models of vehicles, such as late model Volvos. The OBD2 cable connects to the tool by plugging in here. The port for the tablet charging cable is located just below. Please note the charging port for this cable is the bottom USB port, not the top port. To power on the tool, press and hold the button on the top right-hand corner of the tablet until you hear it beep and it will power on. To check the current battery level of the AirPro, hover over the bottom right-hand corner of the desktop. AirPro recommends checking the battery level of the tool before the start of each workday. The AirPro should be plugged into charge and connected to Wi-Fi, both when not in use and after business hours. This will allow operating system updates to be performed remotely by your AirPro team at night when the tool is not in use. OEM software updates may take place during normal business hours. In this section, we will show you how to connect the tool to your Wi-Fi. First, log in to the tool by swiping up on the tablet display. On the bottom right of the screen, you will see a series of icons, including a Wi-Fi icon. Select that icon. A menu will pop up and allow you to connect to your Wi-Fi using your shop's credentials. To ensure you have full functionality of the tool, you will need to test your Wi-Fi. From the home screen, open the speed test icon. This should be located on the top left section of your home screen. Tap the go button and allow the test to be performed. This can take up to 30 seconds. You will need a minimum of 10 megabits per second download and four megabits per second upload for the AirPro to properly function. We recommend running this test in all areas of your shop that the AirPro will be used. The AirPro is portable as long as you have sufficient internet speed. If not, use the Ethernet cable to run the internet directly into the tool. If you are having trouble getting the internet speed the tool requires, we highly recommend you consult with your IT professional to achieve the desired speed. Orion is your online management tool for the AirPro tool and service. Go to app dot airprodiag.com and in the upper right hand corner click on the login button. Now use the login credentials that your AirPro representative provided. Select the repairs option from the top left menu. This will bring you to a dashboard with all your scans. This is where you will monitor the progress of scans. You can also access Orion from the AirPro tool or mobile app. You are now ready to start. Either from the mobile app, a desktop, or the tool, start by selecting the Add Repair button on the top left corner of the screen. First, either type in the VIN or upload a photo of the VIN to be scanned by Orion. The VIN is decoded from the National Highway Safety Administration and will automatically update the vehicle make and model information. Enter the repair order number. Although this is not a required field, it helps make locating the scan and invoice much easier. We highly recommend filling in this field every time. Now select the insurance company or payee. This is a required field. You can select a company from the drop-down list. There is an option for customer pay or self-pay. In the instance that none of these apply, there is an option for other. Enter the claim number. This allows you to easily match the scan to the insurance claim. 
This is not a required field, but we highly recommend using it. Next, we have a few quick questions that help our highly trained diagnosticians service you and the vehicle accurately. The more information you provide, the easier it is for our diagnosticians to help you get the quickest and most accurate results. We encourage you to use these fields on every vehicle. Enter the mileage of the vehicle at the time of the scan. It is important to be accurate with this entry and note the mileage at the time of scan for your documentation. If the airbags of the vehicle have been deployed, select that box. Give a visual description of which airbags are deployed. If the airbags are not deployed, leave this box unselected. Select if the vehicle is drivable or not. Now select the points of impact on the vehicle diagram. Again, the more information we have, the better we can assist you. Now you are ready to create or create and request. We recommend that shops set up the vehicle information on each repair in Orion from the office prior to taking the tool out to the vehicle. It is easier to enter the information on the mobile app or at a computer rather than entering it on the tool. This way, you can preload the repairs needed. For example, if you have five cars coming in the next day, you can load them into the system and be ready to start the scan process the next day upon their arrival. In this case, you would select Create. Also, if you create the request prior to needing the scan, you can upload pictures so that our diagnosticians can see the damage and better assist you in the repairs. You do this by finding the repair in the Repair dashboard and selecting the orange button Edit Repair and scrolling to the bottom and attaching the photos through the Attach Files section. If in the case that you are ready for service immediately, you would select Create and Request. From the repair dashboard, select the blue wrench of the vehicle you want to start your associated scan on. Select the request category. You will have the option of either pre-scan, post-scan, or other. The other category will be diagnostics, programming, or calibrations. If your location has more than one AirPro, select which device you are using. You can do this by matching the number on the tool to the number listed in the dropdown. If you only have one device, it will default to your device number. Select which warning indicators are present on the vehicle. If there are none, select the None option. This is a required field. If you have a light on the dash without a corresponding checkbox above, or if there is any message or unusual indication on the dash that doesn't have a light, note it in the Other Warning Info section. For example, the door ajar message is illuminated even when the door is closed. In the Damage Description box, write a description of the damages. The more detailed the description, the better our diagnosticians can identify underlying damages or issues and make more accurate repair recommendations. As a note, both the Damage Description and the Notes field print on every report. Be mindful of the information you put in these fields. Next, select the contact person who is requesting the service. This is important that should our diagnosticians need to contact you, they can contact the right person. For instance, you wouldn't want to select George when he is not in the shop that day. Now click Submit. Now you need to make sure the tool is connected to the vehicle. It is important to make sure that the tablet is turned on before connecting the tool. Connect the OBD2 cable to the tool and connect the OBD2 cable to the DLC port on the vehicle. You will now need to turn the vehicle on with the key on engine off. This must be done after connecting the tool. On the tool, once our diagnosticians have connected, the screen will go black and scan in progress will display. Once the scan has started, our brand specialist diagnosticians go to work on the vehicle. You are free to leave the vehicle and go about other tasks while AirPro works on the vehicle. From the mobile app or your desktop, you can use the Orion Repair Dashboard. Once the service has started, the wrench icon will turn orange. If you hover over the orange wrench icon, the name of the brand specialist diagnostician that is assigned to your vehicle will appear, along with their telephone extension. 
Should you need to contact the technician for any reason, you can use this information to do so. When the service is complete, you will receive a phone call from your brand specialist to review what was found and to let you know when it is time to disconnect the tool. Once the scan is done, the report and supporting documentation will automatically be emailed to the selected or associated users. Additionally, on the Orion dashboard, the wrench icon will turn blue and the green report icon will appear. If you need the report or supporting documentation, you can select that icon and a drop-down will appear with the report and supporting documents. This can be done directly from the tool or any computer in the shop. Once you have completed the repairs on the vehicle and it is ready for a completion scan, select the blue wrench icon and request a completion scan using the same steps as above. In the damaged section, it is important to list what was repaired or replaced on the vehicle. After a completion scan is performed, it will automatically move the repair to the completed section. You can access this screen by changing the drop-down menu found on the repair dashboard from active to completed. If a completion scan has not been performed for whatever reason, for example, a pre-scan was done and the vehicle gets totaled out, you can complete a repair simply by selecting the red checkmark icon. This will generate your invoice needed for your estimate billing. A simple satisfaction survey may appear. Once that is completed, you can click Complete. Surveys are just as important to us as they are to you. When requesting an invoice, go to your Invoiced section from the Orion Repairs dashboard by selecting Invoiced in the drop-down menu. Find the repair and then click the blue dollar sign icon. It will download a PDF of the invoice for that repair. This invoice will automatically be emailed to selected or associated users. If at any time you need a report or invoice for a vehicle, you can access it by using the search box on the repair dashboard. You can search by repair order, type, VIN, or any other descriptor. We hope that this video has helped you become familiar with your new AirPro tool. Should you have any questions or need additional training, please contact us at 904-717-1711. Thank you for being the best part of AirPro.